My name is Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. You know, it's chilly outside, winter is a coming, and that means it's pickerel season. So, we thought it'd be nice to go through some top pickerel lures and talk about what we like the best. We're here at Anglers today in Annapolis, so we're going to bring in some of their pros in just a moment. But first, I want to show you my favorites. This is sort of a classic here, people. A marabou jig under a bobber with a minnow. Uh, really, really, really hard offering to beat. Uh, white is a really good color for the pickerel. I like to put the biggest minnow I can possibly find on there, hook them in through the lower jaw, out through the top. Suspend them two to three feet below one of these bobbers, and uh, I like these a lot more than a regular round bobber because they cast really nicely and they hold a lot of weight up, but when the fish grabs the bait, because of their shape, it's easier for them to pull it down through the water. They don't feel quite so much resistance. So that's one of my top offerings for pickerel. Number two, and what's really weird is, a lot of times this works really well when this doesn't, and vice versa. I don't know why, but it's true. A road runner, little blade, blade on the back of the bait right there. Uh, you can also get these with a bucktail type body and put a minnow on the back of the hook. That works very well to cast that like that. But for whatever reason, sometimes when they're not biting on the regular bobber and a minnow floating there, if you throw out this road runner, let it sink down near bottom and then start retrieving it just above some die off weed beds or something like that or, or along a point, underwater points. Really, really, really good lure. All right, now we're going to call in Sammy. Hold on one sec. Sammy's going to tell you about his favorites. How are we doing today, guys? It's Sam here at Anglers again. Now, Lenny showed you some of his three favorites, and I'm going to go over a couple of mine. Now, they are similar. They're small presentations as you can work through the water column in shallow water. To start out with, this is another inline spinner like you see with the MEPS. However, we did a little bit with this. This is a, a rig we rig here at the shop, our pickerel inline spinner. It's paired up with a four inch paddle tail, but it has a weedless swim bait hook. So, any of those applications, you're going to be in some really tough cover. This is going to get through to you. Followed up by just a bare paddle tail. This is a four inch profile like you see here. There's all sorts of companies that make a nice little four inch bait. This is also paired up on an eighth of an ounce jig head. You can work this fast, you can work it slow, all in shallow water. And to finish off, I don't think you can beat a classic suspending jerk bait. This happens to be an X-Wrap. There's all sorts of brands out there. This is one of my favorites. The cool thing about this is when this bait is darting through the water and you stop it, it just sits right there in front of the fish's face and they just can't handle it. Thank you guys, those are three of my favorites and good luck pickerel fishing. Now Sammy and I were arguing about this before. There's one more lure we gotta tell you about. It's actually not either one of our tip tip top producers, but it's an old classic. And some days this bait is just the one that really works. So grab this one, put it in your tackle box, and on the day you can't seem to get a bite, reach for the classic MEPS. Cause you know what, sometimes that is just a ticket to a bent rod. Well, good luck pickerel fishing, people. Don't miss another cool fish dog video. Click below to subscribe.